isometric view. In this video, we will learn how to construct an isometric view using orthographic projections. This is our second video on the topic. These are the orthographic projection of the object. To construct the isometric view or 3D view of the object, we first need to create the isometric axis. To do this, take a ruler and draw a horizontal line. Then, mark a center point on this line. Next, take a protractor and mark 30 degrees on both sides of the center point, as well as 90 degrees. Draw lines passing through these points from the center point. The line passing through the 30 degree mark will be the X axis, the line passing through the 90 degree mark will be the Y axis, and the remaining line will be the Z axis. With these three isometric axes in place, we can now construct the isometric view of the object. Next, we need to decide whether to draw the front view in the XY plane or the YZ plane. It's important to remember that the front view should only be drawn in these two planes, and never in the XZ plane. The top view of the object is always drawn in the XZ plane, so that's another key point to keep in mind. On the left hand side, we see the front view of the object, while on the right hand side, we see the side view. To draw the front view, we'll use the XY plane, and for the side view, we'll use the YZ plane. From the front view, we can tell that the object's total length is 104 mm, and its width is 72 mm. So, we'll start by drawing a 104 mm line on the XY plane, followed by a 72 mm line on the YZ plane. Moving on to the height of the object, we can see from both views that it is 48 mm. Therefore, we'll draw a line of 48 mm and construct a cuboid outline for the object. It's important to note that this cuboid is just the basic outline for the object, and further details will need to be added to create an accurate representation. Now that we have the basic outline of the object, it's time to add some details. We can see this part of the object, it has no solid lines. From the side view, we can see that this portion is in front of the object. Hence, we can construct this feature on the XY plane. Using a drafter, draw a 24 mm line parallel to the XY plane from this point. The length of the vertical line from this point is 32 mm, so draw a vertical line of 32 mm downwards from the previous line as shown. Finally, draw another line parallel to the XY plane up to the Y axis as shown. This is how this feature will look in the front view. Let's proceed with adding the features visible in the side view of the object in the YZ plane. We can observe that there is a stair like structure in the side view. To construct this, draw a line of 24 mm parallel to the Z axis. Next, Draw a vertical line of 16 mm, followed by another line of 24 mm parallel to the Z axis. Draw another vertical line of 16 mm, and finally, a line of 24 mm parallel to the Z axis. This completes the side view of the object in the YZ plane. The lines in the front view represent these points in the side view, which in turn represents these points in the isometric view. To draw these lines, we need to find their length in the front view. The length can be found by subtracting the length of this solid structure, which is 24 mm, from the total length of the object, which is 104 mm. Therefore, draw an 80 mm line from the points in the isometric side view parallel to the x-axis to complete the construction of the object. After the previous step, we notice that this line in the side view starts from this point in the isometric view. So, we can start drawing a line parallel to the z-axis from this point up to the intersecting line. Moving on, the lines we see in the isometric view represent the stairs in this structure. Therefore, we will draw lines parallel to the y and z-axis to construct the stairs.
This is the final isometric view of the object. Once this is complete, we can proceed to eliminate the outlines of the structure and instead use dark lines to draw the figure. The next step in the process is to add dimensions to the isometric view. This marks the final stage in creating the isometric representation from the given orthographic projections. I trust that this video has been instructive in demonstrating how to construct an isometric view. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking it, and if you are new to my channel ADTW Learn, please click on the subscribe button and turn on all notifications to receive my latest videos.